Hey beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back with a tutorial that utilizes bugle beads in both the three millimeter and six millimeter size and teela beads. You can see three examples of this bracelet here in my hand. Today we will be making this colorway here on the left, but the sky is really the limit. You can find all these beads and more at EurekaCrystalBeads.com. I'll leave links to the materials I'm using today as well as a full materials list down below the video. Definitely check out Eureka to see all the different colors they have to offer in the Tila beads and the bugle beads and of course seed beads and much, much more. As a brief rundown, we will be using both 11 and 15-0 seed beads as well as full-size Tila's and the three millimeter and six millimeter bugle beads. We'll also need a couple of jump or split rings. I like to use wire guards to finish off the ends. Your standard scissors and jewelry pliers, a clasp of your choice, and a beading needle. This bracelet is pretty thread thirsty and you will need approximately 18 feet of beading thread to be on the safe side. And we're gonna be making approximately a seven inch bracelet, which means the beaded portion will be approximately six and a quarter to six and a half inches. And then that will allow additional space for your clasp. There are multiple ways to complete this bracelet and I've tried several of them. You can certainly do it with two needles, you can do it one basic step at a time like we will today, or you can complete it combining all the steps together and working your bracelet up until the end, which is something I'll probably come back and show you in another video. This is a spin-off of the Nexus bracelet using the half teal of beads. So be on the lookout for that. For now, go ahead and thread your beading needle with approximately 18 feet of beading thread and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so you have your needle threaded and I have asked you to pick up a lot of beading thread and that is because we are not going to be using all of this at one time. This is just a workaround in case you wanted to work up your bracelet without having to add more thread in later. If you wanna do that, be my guest. There's more than one way to create this bracelet as you will see once you are done, I am sure. This is just a way I've found that I particularly enjoy to make it. So what we're gonna do first is we want to pick up one Tila, one three millimeter bugle, and one more Tila. And you're gonna pull these down your thread, leaving about, I would say, 11 feet on your right-hand side or your working side. And what that does is it leaves us a nice, really long tail to add a needle on later and continue with some of the rest of our steps in this bracelet. Now what we want to do is we want to pick up another three millimeter bugle and we're going to swing our needle back down through the teal bead that we're coming out of. So hold on to these beads and pull your needle down, which will pop that bugle bead into place on top of that teal, just like that. And then we want to pick up another three millimeter bugle and proceed down the open hole of the first teal bead that we strung on. And there's a look at what you have so far. And now we're gonna pick up yet another three millimeter bugle and we're gonna swing back up through the first hole of the teal, the corresponding bugle and the first hole of the next teal. There's gonna be a lot of round and round in this bracelet. It's gonna be really reinforced and very strong. And now we wanna go back through that bugle bead and down the Tila bugle and Tila. Don't worry if this isn't holding together completely quite yet. It will as you go. And pull that nice and tight. Now you're in position to add your next row, we'll call it. So pick up another Tila, a three millimeter bugle, and a Tila. You can see how we're coming out of the hole down here. Swing your needle around, go through the top of that Tila on that same row you're coming out of. Also go through the bugle and go back through the Tila. Now go back up through the Tila bugle Tila that you just added through those same holes. Pull that nice and tight, pick up a bugle because you want to pop one there right on the top and pull. 
And you may have to do one of these numbers to get your bugle to sit flat. But once you do that and you pull, it should stay flat for you. And then pick up another bugle and you're gonna pop that right in between the two telas and pull. We need to add a little bugle right here, so pick one up and then go through the first holes there of the tila, then the bugle and the tila there on the top. Holding your beads, pull that together. Again, just make sure that bugle is trained to sit in place and pull nice and tight. And we're coming out of this hole, which means we want to proceed through the bugle that's sitting there on the top. And then finally, back down the tila bugle and tila bead. You are now in position to add another row of tilas. You're gonna repeat the exact same thing we just did. So you can pause the video and go back if you need to. And you're gonna repeat that step all the way down until you've reached the entire length of the beaded portion you want. I found that about 28 rows makes about a six and a quarter inch beaded portion with the wire guards. And then when I add the clasp, it gives you about a seven inch bracelet. However long you wanna do it, that's up to you. Just make sure that you have an even number of rows because that'll be important when we go back and make our X's. So keep going and I will meet you back and we will complete the next step together. All right, everyone, welcome back. So right now I have something like this that is with all 28 rows, if I counted correctly, down the bracelet, which is about the length that I want. And I've also just taken my fingers and kind of laid this out nicely. You want your tila beads to sit side by side and you don't want to have any huge gaps. You also don't want it to be pulled so tight that the tila beads are kind of overlapping each other. So have a tension that looks similar to that. And now we're ready to put on our wire guard on this side. So this is still my working thread, the one that I've been using all along. And I finished by coming out of this teal bead. Now I'm actually gonna go back through the bugle here, and I'm gonna go up through the teal bugle, teal, just because I like to attach the wire guard from a different position. So I'm coming up through those and I'm gonna shoot over through this bugle bead as well and pull that tight. And what we wanna do now is pick up three of our 11 O's and then you can pick up a bugle, one of the three millimeter, one more 11 O, pick up your wire guard and you can string that down. And of course, we're gonna loop around our wire guard, go through the other side, and if you're not using a wire guard, just add a few more seed beads in its place, and you'll just have a loop of seed beads to attach your findings to. Now let's mirror this side and pick up another 11 O, a bugle, and three more 11 O's. And I'm just gonna go straight through this bugle bead on the end. And once we pull that, we have a nice clean end to our bracelet. And I'm gonna go through all of that again. So I'm going through the tila bugle tila one more time, because we want that end to be nice and strong. Also gonna go through the bugle and all those seed beads and bugle bead and wire guard that we just added. So go through as much as you can at one time. Just with the goal of getting to the other side and coming out of that bugle bead again. This positions us for our next step, which is to pop an 11-0 in between each of these gaps on both sides of the bracelet. So pick up an 11-0 and then go through the next bugle pick up an 11 O and go through the next bugle. And that's what you do all the way around. I will stop once we get to the end of this side and we will put the other wire guard on together. 
and continue putting in our 11 O's, but you want it to look like that. You're just filling in all the spaces and keeping these tealas and bugle beads spaced evenly. So do that all the way to this side and then we will put on the other wire guard. All right, so there are our 11 O's in place. And again, you don't have to pull way too tight. This will cinch up a little bit more once we do the X's. You do want the tealas to be sitting close together side by side. That's the main goal. This thread here is my long tail thread, which we're gonna pick up in just a minute. But let's finish up this end with our wire guard. So just like we did before, I'm already coming out of that bugle bead. Pick up three 11 O's, a bugle, one more 11 O, and then our wire guard. You can string those down. Then go through the other side of the wire guard, making sure the thread sits in the little groove. And we'll mirror that by picking up an 11 O, a bugle, and three more 11 O's, and going directly through the bugle that is on that side. And let's reinforce it. So I'm gonna go back through the tila, bugle tila over here, like so. Also gonna go up through the bugle and the beads we just added. Again, as many as you can get through at one time. And swinging around. And going through the rest of those. And you can see if you have not already run out of thread on this side, your thread is getting a lot shorter. So we can go ahead and just tie this thread off at this point by making a half hitch knot, then going through some more beads. I'm gonna make another one right here. And go further in. And you can do this as much as you want. I'm gonna stop at three. That was my third and then go through a few more beads and hide that thread. And then we can clip this off. And we still have a large amount of thread on this tail side where we can just pop on our needle and keep going with the last portion of our bracelet. So put that needle on. There we go. So as you can see, we have our 11 O's popped in here and we need to pop them in our other side too. I'm coming out of the top right hand side of this teal bead. Let's just go through the beads at the end of our bracelet once more to position ourselves in the right spot to continue on with that step. So go through as many as you can and swing your needle around and go through the other seed beads there and proceed directly through that bugle bead which is where we want to pick up and now once again let's put in a 11 o in between each of these gaps so pick one up and then go directly through the next bugle on the side and repeat There we go, and do this all the way down till you get to the other side. At which point we will continue with the next step, which is putting the X's on the top of our bracelet and finishing it off. All right, so now that our 11 O's are all in place along our sides and I'm coming out of this bugle right here on the end, we actually wanna be coming out of a tila. So I'm gonna go down through the tila, bugle tila on this end just to position ourselves so that we're ready to continue on. So you can go ahead and do that to get yourself situated. And we wanna pick up a 15-0, a six millimeter bugle, a 15-0, a bugle, and one more 15-0. So this is what you should have on your needle. And we're gonna go diagonally across two rows. So I'm coming out of this hole right here. We want to go down this hole over here on the top left of the next teal row. So we're going to swing around and down 
which will place these beads that we just added right on top in this diagonal fashion. We're coming out of this tila down here at the bottom left, and we're ready to complete our X. We want to pick up a 15-0 and another bugle. You can string those down. And you're going to go up through that 15-0 seed bead in between the two bugles from the previous step and pull that nice and tight. And that's what you should have so far. Now let's complete our X by picking up a bugle and a 15 -0. You can pull those down. And now we need to go down the tila, the bugle, and the tila on the top right-hand side of our X and pop those beads into place. Again, just holding this with your thumb and your forefinger nice and tight and pulling your thread so that this X is sitting flat right over top of those two rows. Now you're just going to go through the bugle, the seed bead, the next bugle, and the next seed bead to position yourself at the next row where you need to add another X. So first go through those beads and pull, and then go up through the tila, bugle, and tila because you want to start your X by coming out of one of the tila beads. So just go up through that row that you stopped at and repeat to make another X. So pick up a 15-0, a bugle, a 15-0, a bugle, and a 15-0. Pull those down. This time you're coming out of the top right-hand side of this tila bead and you're going to go through heading up this time, the tila, the bugle, and the tila that are at the end of the next row over. And you'll pull those beads, and once again, that gets your X started. You now have this diagonal line, and we can complete our X by picking up a 15-0 and a bugle, and then going down through the 15-0 in the middle of the two bugles from the previous step. We'll pull this tight and pick up another bugle and another 15-0. And we'll finish our X by going up through the tila, bugle, tila over on this side. Take your time, just popping that into place Pull nice and tight, make sure your X is flat and everything is in place. And then to get us in position for our next X, we just want to shoot over through the bugle, the seed bead, the bugle, and the seed bead, just like that. So you're going to stop right at the beginning of your next row and also go over through the tila, bugle, tila to position yourself coming out of the next tila bead. So there you go. You're going to repeat that all the way down to the end of your bracelet, and that is pretty much it. So let's keep going. At this point, you'll want to pause the video, back it up if you need to, to continue on with this next step. And we will meet back once our X's are done and take a look at our finished product. All right, everyone. So that was the last beading step. I did go ahead and knot and tie off my thread and all we have to do is add our jump rings and our clasp. So let's pop those on really quick and admire our work. We will take a look at the finished piece. These little magnetic clasps are actually surprisingly strong. And again, everything you saw here today, as well as much more can be found at eurekacrystalbeads.com and you can refer to that materials list right below the video for direct links to all these products. You can see all the color options that they have in the tealas and bugles and seed beads to create the same bracelet in your favorite colorway. Here's a look at the bracelet all said and done. I just love the way that metallic shine comes through the back of those X's. And once again, here's a look at two other color variations as well, just to give you some ideas. 
Like I said, this bracelet can be done in a number of ways. I did a lot of experimentation and that was my favorite way to do it, most straightforward to do on this tutorial. Here is a look at the spin-off bracelet I created using the half tilas, and I might be back to do a tutorial specifically on this one and show you another way that this bracelet can be completed. So I hope you'll stay tuned. I hope this tutorial was easy for you guys to follow. Please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what color combination you chose, if you gave this one a try, or anything else you'd like to say. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day, and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching.